You are very welcome, Retro Gamers. Welcome, welcome. Sensible Soccer, arguably one of the greatest uh, soccer football games, how dare I call it soccer, one of the greatest football games of the 90s. Absolutely excelled on the Amiga. I don't have uh, an original Amiga version. I've got Swaz, Sensible World of Soccer, but uh, I don't have the original box, uh, box version for the Amiga. How this is an Archimedes version. However, it's the same artwork. 1992, a wonderful game. However, what if you could not uh, be with your Amiga at the time and you needed to go on the road or, uh, or play it uh, in a mobile fashion? Well, today I'm going to look at that very question. So I have, this is my original Game Boy uh, Pocket from the 90s. I picked it up in the late 90s. Um, it was already pretty much out of date then. I've got it running on uh, an EverDrive. I don't have the original Sensi game for, for that. However, I do have the original cart for the Game Gear. Here is uh, an original Game Gear. This one's not modded. Um, and I've got Sensi. I've got the original cart there and box. So what I intend to do is, here's the box. Lovely packaging. Always like the Game Gear artwork. So here's Sensible Soccer, the original box for the Game Gear. So I'm going to compare these two. I'm going to try and film them. I'm going to use an LCD modded Game Gear, um, so hopefully we can get a good clear uh, visualisation of that. And I will use the Super Super Game Boy um, to play the Game Boy game on the screen using a Super Nintendo and controller, so that should be easier to film. Uh, come join me. Okay, so here's Sensible Soccer for the Game Gear. I'm playing on a LCD modded screen, so it should read a lot clearer. Um, and is a much more optimal way to play sensible uh, soccer and indeed to play on the Game Gear um, because yeah the fuzzy screen of the original machine it, it makes your eyes bleed by today's standards I love the big pixels here of the uh, teams and the players nice little touch so yeah I captured a little bit of footage here banging a goal in this is Norwich for Reykjavik um, I have to question the keepers I don't know if the keepers are much cop in this version, <laughs> um, but I had a lot of fun with it. Nice green pitch, lush pitch, really lush pitch, and there's a yellow card. So you've got the cards, you've got the bookings, you've got the sendings off. Um, yeah, there's Reykjavik putting one past Brian Gunn, 6-2, uh, realistic score too. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this, I have to say, but yeah, you've got to question the keeping. Um, but you know, it zips around. You know, the, the, you can hear the ball, du, 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 the thudding. Uh, it's all, it's all there for an eight bit. Yeah, again, you know, I, I think, I think we'll have to look at uh, getting a new keeper in for Reykjavik. But uh, yeah, the might of Norwich was just too much. Uh, here, I think I'm going to smash another in. Yeah, that, that was a good finish. I was happy with that finish. You've got the clock counter in the corner, uh, scores on the screen, and there you go, 10-2. It's good. I like the Game Gear version. Uh, arguably, that might be too easy, though, but very playable. And uh, nice, colourful menus as well. Right, here's the Game Boy version. So I'm using the Never Drive here. I'd love to own the original cartridge. So we've got the menu music, that's all very good. Yeah, I'm afraid I, I lost some of the footage of my Game Gear version, unfortunately. Um, but again, I'm playing Reykjavik uh, here. Uh, I don't know why I'm picking on them, but I am using the might of Norwich. And a shout out to Norwich Amiga Group as well for, for uh, the inspiration behind this. So, yeah, you'll see here straight away uh, the pitch is looking a bit putrid, maybe a little bit deserty. So thanks to the Super Game Boy, you can change the colour palette. So big shout out to the Super Game Boy for actually making these games really, really playable uh, and adding a sort of new dimension. So I'm getting to use a SNES controller here uh, on the SNES. But yeah, uh, let me remind myself, uh, I've taken some highlights here of my match against Reykjavik. So it's a little bit slower, you can see already. Yep, another bit of questionable keeping there. Yeah, again, another finish into the corner. 
so I think we're at two here. You can put some whip on the ball as well, just like the Amiga. That, yeah, straight, oh, straight down the line there, really, that shot, nice and true. Three nil Norwich. Let's see what other clip I got here. Is this where I foul the player? Yeah, it's a foul, and um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, you get a Y above your head because obviously you can't tell the colour. <laughs> That was I like that goal. I got a bit of curl on that one. 4 0. Look at this for an own goal. Fantastic. No idea where that came from. So yeah, good version. So I hope you enjoyed that little exploration of handheld sensible soccer. And do you want to know who the winner is? Football is always the winner. <laughs>